So CERN's the European Laboratory of Particle Physics. We have a, a simple goal, which is to understand how the universe is made and how it works. And uh, we do that uh, using a number of experiments. The, the flagship one is the Large Hadron Collider, uh, which allows us to collide together fundamental particles and then analyze the results to determine what is matter made of. There is uh, very few higher goals than trying to understand how the universe works. CERN's always been a contributor towards open source projects. Uh, we invented the World Wide Web in the 90s and uh, since then we've been contributing regularly to open source projects. The, the benefit of being able to benefit from the work of others, along with the fact that we can contribute uh, where we have specific requirements, allows us to evolve our computing infrastructure combined with others. Open source technology allows us to be able to contribute to improvements without having to do the entire work ourselves. Um, many problems such as scaling to the size that we need to, uh, around 15,000 hypervisors in two years, will mean that we need to share the difficulties of these problems with others. Um, open source collaborations allow us to be able to do this within a framework of contribution and also of benefiting from the work of others. I think in every technology category there two standards, a closed proprietary standard and an open standard. We've embraced the open standard because we believe that open systems innovate faster, reach scale faster, and ultimately produce better outcomes for humanity. Today we are using uh, OpenStack as a way of improving the efficiency of computer operations within CERN uh, in order to analyze the 35 petabytes of data which comes from the Large Hadron Collider. Braxius is proud to be a part of CERN's Open Lab framework which allows them to collaborate with companies to build solutions that will help them with their mission of answering important scientific questions. And so we've collaborated with them to make their workloads not only go to the public cloud, but also to do work within their private cloud, and most importantly for us, allowing them to build a solution that can choose to consume public cloud resources or private cloud resources based on what their needs may be. Also, it's very important that this collaboration is not just about Rackspace and CERN, but it's about making OpenStack better. The work that we'll do together around OpenStack to meet CERN's needs are things that we look forward to putting back into the project and something that everybody, including other research institutions around the world, can benefit from. CERN Open Labs, they want to have the capability, like uh, any commercial entity would, to not only run stuff inside their own uh, data centers, but be able to consume uh, stuff inside of a, of a public data center, inside of a public cloud as well. And so the idea here is you don't want to necessarily have all the resources that are required to accomplish tasks uh, under your data center control at all times. Sometimes you might want to burst to a, a data center because you have very specific workloads that are bursty. Sometimes you have stuff that frankly just works better in a public cloud because you don't need uh, the computational intensity or other nature of, of private cloud uh, work and so they want to have access to that. So knowing that, that Rackspace uh, and OpenStack are working with CERN to solve questions that will ultimately help determine the future of mankind and our planet, I think is an amazingly powerful thing.